We're now going to talk about sequences. And basically what sequences are is a row of numbers some with some sort of pattern amongst them. Okay? So and how you there's basically some relationship between a number and the one before it. Okay? It could be adding a number to it, you could be multiplying, it could just but some different pattern to dedicate this whole sequence of numbers. Okay, so behind me I have three different examples of sequences. Okay? Our first one is 2, 5, 8, 11. And hopefully what you see is that in order to get from one number to the next, you're just adding three. Okay? So you add three to get to five, add three to get to eight, 11. The next number would be 14, 17, and so on. Okay. The next one goes three, nine, 27, and 81. And there's a couple of ways we could break this one down. Okay? The way that I intended it to be done is powers of three. Okay? So we have three to the first, three to the second, three to the third, three to the fourth, so on and so forth. So the next term would be three to the fifth. But another way you could look at it is just you're taking the previous term and multiplying it by 3 to get the next. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81, so on and so forth. Okay? The last one is very similar to the one above it, but instead of powers, we're just dealing with strictly multiplication. So you take 3, multiply it by 2 to get 6, by 2 to get 12, 2 to get 24, so on and so forth. Okay? So these examples, all our numbers are always getting bigger. But there's no reason our numbers couldn't be getting smaller as well. Okay? So here I added 3. I could have just as easily subtracted 3. Here we multiplied by 2. We could have just as easily divided by 2. As long as we do that consistently, what we're getting is a sequence of numbers.